Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another DIY. Today I am participating in the Coastal or Summer DIY Challenge hosted by Heidi Sambul DIY. I'm going to have her channel listed in the description box below along with the playlist, so make sure you check it out. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting out with this 8x10 canvas from the Dollar Tree. I already had removed the canvas from it and um, left with the wood frame and I'm using the jumbo craft sticks from Walmart and I'm using eight total and I'm just cutting them down to be able to fit the frame. Now on the frame I'm going to give this a white wash. This was literally um, Waverly white chalk paint that I had watered down because I had like bare minimum left in the jar so I just made myself some whitewash. So I'm rubbing it rubbing wiping it on and then rubbing it off and um it turned out really really nicely the color of this canvas frame was uh, a rustic color already to begin with and um so it turned out really good and i'm also using a little bit of that um whitewash to paint up some of these beads as well. Now moving on to my sticks, I am painting each of them different but in the same tones. So this first one I'm doing agave and then I do wipe it off um, because I do want some of the wood grain to show through. And then the second stick I use the agave as well but I do add um, some of the white wash into it so that it lightens it up and um, it's lighter in a different color than that. I didn't want two sticks to be exactly matching. So then the next one I'm using the ocean and I wipe it on and then um, wipe it off so that you can see the wood grain. And then for the second stick, I add in the white so that it's a much lighter blue. It's almost like a sky blue. And for the next set, I am using, using the mineral and same concept, putting it on, wiping it off. And then the second stick, I am just dabbing on the mineral and then um, going over it with the, um, the whitewash and then wiping it off. And then the final sticks I'm using just the whitewash. Um, the one stick, I don't wipe it off immediately. I let it soak in so that I have a little bit of a darker. And then the other one, I wipe on, paint on, and then wipe right off so that I get the two different tones. Now I'm ready to assemble. I just take some of this fix all um, glue and some hot glue and um, put on all the sticks in kind of a every other color. And then I take some of these beads and put them around the tray, four on each side. And then I decide to make some handles with some more of these beads. I just take a wire string 12 beads on each side and then hot glue them to the edge and then my tray is done although i do add some mineral um, to the beads to kind of give them more of a rustic look Now 
All right, for my next project, I'm adding some of the ocean with some water and making a stain and adding in, uh, I think, 11 of the larger wood beads and then using the agave and some water and making a stain and adding in 11 more of the large beads and just mixing these up and then pouring them out onto a paper towel to let them dry. And then um, I have this like wooden anchor that I painted up and I was so out of focus I didn't even bother slowing it down so you could see. And then I just string along these beads um, in a pattern. And then I added, you can see in the bottom left hand corner of the anchor where I kind of did an ombre effect from agave up to the blue. And then I had these shells that I um, Well, I guess the shells you can't see them now, but I added the anchor on one side and then I glued the shell onto one of the last beads onto the other end. Instead of a tassel, I thought I'd go with this. And I like how it turned out. The garland ended up being a lot longer than I had anticipated it to be, but I like it a lot. And then for my final project, I am making a riser. And this was a total um, last minute project because I had some more of those beads left over. So I'm just gluing them onto the bottom and then I'm taking some dowels and um, I'm gonna cut three of those dowels in half and then glue them around this um, round wooden thing that I got from the Dollar Tree and um, everywhere that I put one of those beads for the feet I'm gonna glue those um, dowels and you'll be able to see here now exactly what I'm talking about and I just go around and glue those on I just use my hot glue because as you'll see here in just a little bit that this will end up getting reinforced with rope later. So I just add a little bit of the whitewash and then I do go in and add a little bit of the um, mineral as well, just to add a little bit of distressing and give it more of that nautical coloring so that it wasn't just that plain wood and then that's the only paint that I'm adding to this now I'm gonna add this cotton twine that I have and just wrap it around each of the um, dowels and kind of let it drape between each um, all the way around if that makes any sense here in a second, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, rope and just go around the base of it to hide the um, the dowels, make it a little cleaner, and it'll help hold those in place too, so they don't get knocked off. And once that's done, I just glue it and cut it, or cut it then glue it. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> It's late. So anyway, here is my finished products. I just have one of my candles and I love how this tray turned out. It's so simple, but I love it. And then my garland is so stinking cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the playlist and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.